An inspiring story you'll only see on 7. A young man from Allen Park taking people's old and donated shirts and turning them into one of a kind aprons. As 7 Action News reporter Jenna Schantz explains, what started as a school project has exploded into a booming business thanks in part to the kindness of strangers. Prior to this year, Michael Gurner never sewed at home. His parents, they don't sew. But when the 26-year-old's teachers put a sewing machine in front of him, along with a little music, they were shocked at what they saw. All it takes is the right jam and this sewing machine, and Michael Gurner is in the zone. With Michael, he's a perfectionist. Everything has to be a certain way. So this sewing really is good for him. Michael, who's 26, is on the autism spectrum. His mom, Elizabeth, says a nine to five job likely isn't in her son's future. But now, thanks to this surprising skill discovered during his post-secondary program at Lincoln Park Public Schools, something really special is. Michael is a whiz at sewing aprons made from dress shirts just like this one. It's a project his teachers started just before he graduated. But no one expected Michael would pick it up so fast or with such precision. It was a hidden talent that I, we did not know about. It was a Zoom meeting. One of the teachers, his first apron he ever made, she had it. And she literally went like this in front of the Zoom meeting and my mouth just dropped. It started with job skills training and learning about recycling. Every piece of fabric Michael uses to create these one-of-a-kind aprons is repurposed. So is different patterns, different materials, all this was donated to him. Hello, I'm Michael Gunner. I have the apron and the cup koozie. That was Michael at the Wyandotte Street Art Fair, selling not only his aprons, but these koozies made from recycled men's ties. Since then, word of Michael's work has spread with the help of Facebook, and he's now getting orders for aprons daily. He's proud. He'll pick it up and he'll look at it and he'll go perfect each time he does it. Do you like it? Yes. You like the way it came out? This project isn't just about recycling and it's not just a way for Michael to make money. For his family, it's a way to see him embrace his independence. Here's your label. Wow. The pocket looks great. An independence Elizabeth saw firsthand after that art fair. I'm tearing up right now thinking about it. <laughs> that was the sweetest thing. I knew he was going to be able to go do something with this. That was the first surprise that we had after this refair. He was like, I want to take you out to dinner. And we went and he paid. <laughs> In addition to some upcoming arts and crafts fairs this summer, Michael has already been approached by a boutique in Wyandotte interested in selling his aprons. They take about 40 minutes to make. Some of that, Elizabeth says, depends on Michael's creative flow that day. If you're interested in learning more about Michael, you can follow him at Handmade by Michael G on Facebook or you can visit our website, wxyz.com.